Oh, I didn't I didn't know you guys were joining me today. I didn't see you in that little tiny cute corner. Well, it's Rudy with Alpha, investments of the basement fire of garbage of number one and most hated. Today we've got the mail day. Oh, crap, I didn't know. So, today we are supposed to... Hold on. Today we're going over what I spent all my money on from a big... There we go. God. All right, we'll edit that first part out. Of what we spent the money on, and we're going to check in some inventory. We just finished eating our Taco Bell Nachos Bel Grande in our 99 cent triple cheese double roller. You know how Taco Bell's three items, and they just change the order of it, and you eat the same thing over and over. That's what I live on. Okay. So, everybody wants to know, Rudy, what did you spend your money on? Well, I'm glad you asked, because nobody cares, but you're here anyways, and you keep watching. All right, thanks for the free three cents. Okay, so, um, those of you who have been around, drugs are bad. Those of you who have been around a long time, you will notice, um, you probably already know where I bought these from because you can probably tell by the way they were packaged to me and the way they did the sticker and the barcode, you know which gigantic company I did business with. So, we're going to check all these in and uh, we're going to go through them all together. Um, the what, Actually, you know what, we'll probably take them all the cases. So, we'll take the Arabian Nights aside first and then we'll put the Antiquities aside, uh, Italian Legends, then we'll put English Legends, uh, we'll do all Alphas because you know you got to have the Alphas! There is not many purposes on this planet except for Alpha. So, there we go. Alphas and then Betas. There we go. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys had a great day, and we'll talk to you later. All right. Oh, come on. Acknowledge how fast and amazing that was that all the hard, like, top loads just disappeared. Rudy, how did you do that? One word. DeLorean. Time traveler. Okay. So, we're going to talk about... So, first thing we got here up in everyone's face today is we have some Arabian Night cards. Not a whole lot. Um, some random price stickers. Don't know what or why or what that represents. And um, so Cabal Goals. Uh, it's one of the Arabian Night rares that I've been buying for... Uh, not rares. I guess it's technically a U3. One of the uncommons from Arabian Nights I've been buying for a long time. This was actually one I played with when I was younger. It was just kind of one of my little uh, first turn dark ritual Cabal Ghoul type of... Uh, you know, high school Rudy type card. And um, I think finally, uh, I've been buying them for between $10 and $20. I think now I've been paying like $25, $30. And this last purchase was actually about $40 a card. And quite frankly, it's still, again, it's undervalued. It's a $100 card. And uh, yeah, I'm probably up to about, I don't know, a lot. So next thing, um, Rudy's favorite woman that he dreams about every night. He just leaves it taped up in the bathroom. He just says, oh, anyways. Uh, sh sh uh, shoelace, sh shoes at. Uh, was that bless you? Did you sneeze? So we've got two of these, and um, I just I just buy it for the artwork because the woman I just throw money at her. And sitting in a bottle, one of those typical cards that removes all cards from a certain specific set. Don't you wish they made cards like that nowadays? Oh, I like your Dominaria cards. Uh, remove all Dominaria cards from the game. Thanks, handshake. Have a great day. Wouldn't that be hilarious if they made cards like that? Wouldn't that just crack you guys up? So a couple Arabian Nights cards. As you can see, my Arabian Night purchasing and my Arabian Night focus has now been. Uh, pretty heavily dwindled. I am not doing a lot with Arabian Nights anymore. Um, the prices have now pretty much reflected and readjusted to honestly where they should have been. It just, for some reason, the market was out of whack for a long time, and now it finally just woke up. All right, down here in the uh, bottom left corner, we have a tiny little, uh, we have a little workshop hiding down there in the corner. We got a little bush down here. Don't tell anybody about my bush. And, uh, okay, so we got the workshop over here. Um, this is not a gradable card. I would say this is probably, if I were to grade this, it'd probably come back probably like a seven. There's a surface scratch there. Uh, do the old 360, 360, nope, nope. All right, good. No inking, looks clean. Actually, that front surface is very nice, and the centering's actually pretty good. We got a little chip at the top, so I would say this is probably great a 7 to 8 range. Um, maybe an 8 if the grader was in a good mood, but definitely not higher than that. I wouldn't set it for grading. But again, it is a workshop, and quite frankly, workshops for some reason are still trending between 1,000 and like 1,200. Um, why? I don't know. It should be a couple thousand. Uh, one little random Italian legends. I'm not really big into the foreign cards. You guys know I'm not. I don't do signed cards, foreign cards, and uh, a lot of altered cards with like artists. And I mean, a lot of them are neat. I'm just not into that stuff. I usually just try to flip them or move them or deal with them. So I got one Italian Eureka just because I thought I thought the price was just good. I thought ninety dollars. I don't know. I just I thought it was just a, I don't know. Um, again, I would say uh, this is definitely not a gradable. Got a little ding there, a surface. I don't know if that's like a binder ding or what. You got definitely some whitening and wear at the top. Um, good news is there's no Sharpie 360 spin. Other than that, it's not a gradable card, but it's definitely still a Eureka. Even the Italian Legends, I think, is going to continue to become a very big powerhouse due to the English counterparts just being so expensive. And, of course, uh, back to the English ones. Just like you guys saw in another video, Planner Gate. Um, 
I'm not really sure what the major deal is with this lately. It's a lot of these bizarre ones. I got a couple off to the side here too I want to show you guys. Like Knowledge Vault. These really bizarre Legends rares. Planner Gate, which is still a better card than Knowledge Vault. Knowledge Vault's a very strange card. I never played with it. I didn't even know about it when I was a kid. For some reason, I never even pulled one. I never had anybody locally in Florida that actually had the card in their binders or anything. So it wasn't until I was a lot older and I was just like, wow, look at that art. Isn't that just... It's like my basement, except the only difference is you can just replace that little frog over there and that little bumblebee with one of those definitely inappropriate long... Okay. So anyways, you know, these type of rare legend cards are becoming very, very sought after. And the market has woken up and realized that these cards should not be $10 a piece or $5. And that's why most of these are readjusting to the 40 to 100 range. Honestly, that's just where they should be. That is not really a bubble or anything. Mirror Universe start getting to the top tier legends again. With Legends Booster Box, is pretty much running about $20,000 a box. Quite frankly, it's probably going to be a bargain still. You know, these type of cards, this should not be a $100, $200 card. It took a long time for this. It's sat up for like $80 to $100 a card. And actually, this card, I think I paid like 200 bucks for now. Just because I still like it. It was a good condition. Again, not gradable. You got some definitely chipping and whiting there. You got a little dings, corners, and I'm sure you got some surface. Do we have any surface damage on this? Um, Actually, it's a pretty impressive surface. What about the back? Wow, it's a clean surface. So besides the edge wear, it's actually got a pretty nice surface on there. I'm not going to grade it or anything like that. Again, this I think this would be like a 7 to 8 range. It's just, you know, not really worth the time of anything. So that's it. Next, we're going to go to the beta. Beta, not really much going on. These are just some thing. Library Langs, they were like 15 bucks. I was like, dude, seriously? What's wrong with you? That is me in 180 years. And by 180 years, I mean tomorrow morning. Look at that book. It's epic. Do you wish you had a book like that? I wish I had a book like that. Okay, the comment section is like, Rudy, seriously throttle it down sorry guys i'm just excited today this is a great collection i get all pumped up i like to hide with my clock i like to hide with my beast look at this i like to hide clockwork beast gotta hide beast okay sorry we're gonna throttle it down a notch we're gonna we're gonna calm down everybody i promise she's cute she looks like she's got too much makeup on though she'd be prettier without the makeup so that's really about it again got two rares in beta some uncommons so, the biggest thing I was excited about making this video, and the number one reason for this video, I saved it for last, is because, quite simply, the Alpha Rares. I wanted to, you know how I feel about Alpha Rares. Everybody does. Hell, the channel's name is, what is this channel's name? Garbage Fire Investments? I mean, the whole channel is based around Garbage Fire Investing. Or Alpha, I don't know, it's the same thing. So, these are all Alpha Rares. First thing, um, we expanded the position in the Alpha Dual Lands. None of these are great. Well, actually, that one might be... I haven't really gone into details. I bought them all as light play. And actually, it's a, it must have a surface issue or something. Because that's a, that's a really nice light play. And um, again, it's just, you know, alpha dual lands. I have nothing to say about it. It's just quite simply, it is what it is. All right, next thing we also have... Uh, I guess I'll just put these down. Um, I'm buying some of these stupid ones. These are dumb. Nobody really wants them. They're light play jade monoliths. They're just an alpha rare. Same thing with helm. You get to give a creature banding. No, I'm sorry. You may give one creature the ability to ban. Oh, God. You know, Richard Garfield, you're a genius sometimes, but sometimes you're a strange little man. I admire you. Seriously, I really do admire you. Like, no, seriously, I really, I really do. Um, Demonic Attorney, I just, it's an anti-related type card. Even if it wasn't reserve list, I would still love it. Reserve list, alpha, anti. Anything else to say? It hits all three categories. I mean, <laughs> all right, next we're going to go into... One of Rudy's favorite alpha underpriced rares. Why these were like 50 bucks a piece or something for an alpha rare. I don't know if it was a misprint on the website. They never updated. I don't know what the deal was. So I bought another seven of them. This alpha rare had an original print run of what? 3,000? Of which what? What do you guys think? There's 1,500 left in existence. 1,800 if you're generous. 1,000 if you're aggressive. I mean, here's seven. Well, good talk. Lastly, but not least, we're going to go to the reds. Uh, Power Surge, eh, not really a huge fan of it, but it's an alpha rare. Rock of Kerr Ridges, I'll be straightforward with everyone. It's a four drop for a 3-3 flying vanilla, and he's banging some little creepy guy bent over. And there's a bunch of creepy pirates that watch them as the bang goes on on the mountain from the pirate ship. Whoa, I need to lay off the tacos. Holy smokes. Kaka! Kaka! Whoa, this video. I think people are noticing I'm getting a little delirious. So honestly, my favorite reason of owning Rock and Courage's and the reason I love this card so much and the reason I keep buying it, it's the artwork. That hand-drawn artwork just blows me out of the water. 
And honestly, you can say the same thing that I just said out loud without saying out of the water. Anybody? Anybody? Okay. Nobody got that. If you got that, let me know in the comment section. And Berserk. Uncommon, not a rare, but it's a flippin' alpha Berserk. Who cares? All right, Pirate Ship. This was another one of those. It's a five. I know it's a five. Drop four, three. It can, it can ping a little cannon one damage. Again, it has a thing you can't attack about the island thing, blah, blah, blah. If you don't have islands, of course, the ship sinks. kind of cool. Um, again, it's an alpha rare. It's underpriced. It's hilariously underpriced. Magical Hacks. No real benefit to this card. I buy it for the artwork because it reminds me of me when I'm older, which it means tomorrow morning. And that's really it. And it says interrupt. I missed the word interrupt. All right. We're getting to the home stretch, everybody. Animate Rudy's Wall. So, is that me or is that Rudy? I'll let you guys figure that out. All right. Too much makeup, but I love you anyways. Ooh, a little bit better on the makeup. All right. Righteousness. One of my favorite cards as a kid. I had all unlimited and revised versions in 4th edition. So I don't really have a lot of the Alpha Righteousness. They're not really worth a lot, but it's just something I really liked. And I've been trying to expand my position into it. And it's Alpha, and I'm trying to just be as aggressive as possible in the Alphas because it's just... The damn things are just so hard to find. That is Mail Day. Don't eat tacos, everybody. Lay off on the tacos. They will drive you crazy. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Nothing really crazy. Just checking in some inventory. And I'm sure most of you guys already know where the cards came from just by based on the shipping method and how they did that. You can tell which major card company. On top of that, most of you guys do you do know what booster boxes these are, right? You guys can tell, right? Can you guys tell from the picture? What am I doing with my life? 